Hi, I'm Lawrence Whippler. I've been working on a theory of everything to unite the fundamental forces. Now, this theory of everything is based on the magnetic monopole. Now, in this video, I'll explain how electrolysis and electroplating work using this new theory. Now, first you have to understand what the atom is. The atom is a magnetic dipole. Okay, all dipoles have north and south magnetic monopoles orbiting in opposite direction, which is what creates your dipole. Now, electricity is nothing more than these north and south monopoles that have been separated. They're separated by using a dipole, which is how electricity is generated by a generator. Now, first we'll start with is our cathode, and we have an anode. Okay, your cathode would be, say, a negative charge, or actually it's a south charge because it's a magnetic charge. All currents are magnetic. And here we'll have a positive charge, which is actually a north monopole, so it's a north magnetic charge. You can call it a positive electric charge if you like. Okay. Now here we'll have, inside here we'll have an electrolyte. It can be a number of things. But electrolytes are also made out of atoms. All atoms are made the same way. Your anode and cathode are also made from atoms. Okay, so everything is actually going to, you know, react with each other. Now, when we put a supply of north monopoles or positive electricity here, south monopoles, negative electricity, through here, through this point here, what's going to happen is you're going to have an interaction between the two. See, all um, materials or all atoms are all bound together by using monopoles. Now, if you have a chemical reaction where you have two elements combined together, they share the same magnetic lines of force. Now, when they do that, they give up some monopoles as heat. Now, if you want to separate two, uh, two of these um, elements, you simply add monopoles back. Well, you get those monopoles from electricity applied to your anode and cathode. Now, again, electricity is nothing more than separated north and south monopoles. When you put those back, it's going to separate these two, two elements. Now, see if we have... Um, See, this anode here is copper, and this one here will we'll put, um, say, aluminum. Now, what's going to happen is this copper is going to find its way over here to the aluminum, and it's going to plate this aluminum with a layer of copper. Now, how does it do that? Why does it always go from the anode to the cathode? Is that the way electricity flows? Well, no, it don't. Here you have your north monopoles, your south monopoles, each one attracts the other one. So electricity flows both directions at the same time. It doesn't go from positive to negative or negative to positive. It goes from positive and negative and meets in the middle. Now, one thing about the monopole is the north monopole is just slightly stronger than the south monopole. Now you can see this um, at say the Earth's magnetic field because that's what causes the Earth to tilt on its axis is its magnetic north pole. The greater or the stronger your dipole is, the greater the difference between the two poles there's going to be. Now all atoms are made out of monopoles. Now, when you supply monopoles back into this copper and you want it to go over here and it passes through this electrolyte, the electrolyte is basically, oh, like I say, it can be just about anything, but it's made out of atoms. It's used as a uh, conductor for your north and south monopoles. It just conducts electricity. That's basically all you need for an electrolyte. Now, 
for your copper to make it over here, your north monopoles will be moving that direction, south monopoles here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the north monopoles are slightly stronger. So it's going to send the particle of matter, which would be the copper, over to your cathode. That's why this side here, your cathode is plated and the anode is not because the north monopole is slightly stronger, it's going to win the tug of war for that particle of matter. And again, your particle of matter is what's in the atom's core. That determines what element you have. Now, when this element or when you apply your north monopoles and south monopoles, what you're doing is you're taking apart the bond between the two elements, or your elements. You actually take the element apart, and you send it, its particle of matter over here. It goes over to the anode because what's carrying it over there is the, the north monopole. And it simply reattaches or recombines because it has more monopoles that you're supplying from there or your cathode. Now in a nutshell what it does is elements are atoms made out of atoms. Atoms are made from magnetic monopoles. Okay when you take these monopoles away all you have left is the particle of matter and since the north monopole is slightly stronger, it's going to take that particle of matter which makes up the atom's core and bring it over to the negative side or your south monopoles which are applied to the cathode because north and south attract each other. That's why this is always plated. Well, that's it in a nutshell for electrolysis and electroplating. I can go more in depth than this, but it could take a whole semester to explain that. But it's actually quite simple. Thank you.